So here's part two of aging, the psychological and economic impact. So the first we've got is psychological effects. Now, a lot of the psychological effects come from the fact that the, the situation has changed. So with social change of older people, you see loss of job status from retirement, reduced mobility and fitness, loss of independence and increased reliance on others for support, potentially the loss of their home, particularly if they have to move into retirement communities, the loss of friends or a partner due to death and reduced access to social networks because it might be difficult to get to meetings. They may not be tech savvy. So these can be all causes of, um, sort of ch psychological change. Now, this also can all lead to loneliness and dependence. So 36% of people who are over 65 live alone. Now, if they have the ability to take advantage of free bus travel or they continue to drive, they do remain part of the community. They can reduce their feelings of loneliness and independence. But if they don't drive, that can increase that loneliness, the, the risk of depression, anxiety and their loss of self-worth, which then leads into self-esteem. So having good health, employment and financial security are three things that are essential for a high self-esteem. And again, as you get into older, uh, later adulthood, you start to lose those things. So your, your financial income is reduced because you retire. Your employment, you lose that because of retirement. Your health will begin to diminish and that can lead to feelings of anxiety and stress. And that can all have a negative impact on self-esteem. With the theories of aging, there are two key theories and they try to explain what is happening within this life stage. The first of these is activity theory, which was introduced in 1960 by Havikust. And what they argue is that the social and psychological needs of older people in later adulthood remain the same. They don't really change. We still need to interaction. We need, still need communication. We need, still need activities and engagement. And basically this uh, theory suggests that as we get to old to later adulthood, we have more time. We have more money. We have um, more opportunity so we can engage with our family, with community, with charity and education. We remain active. Social disengagement theory came in 1961 and it basically argues the opposite. Cummings and Henry argue that older people naturally withdraw from society. Social contacts with reduced. They spend their later adulthood reflecting on their life and older people face issues like poor health, illness, geographical isolation, and also with retirement comes reduced social interaction and financial income, which all reduces the ability to engage in these activities. Also, as a side note, it's interesting to note that um, Cummings and Henry were right in 61 when, when older people didn't have access to phones, to cars, to public transport or to social networks as we do now. And last but not least, we have the economical effects. So Age UK research found that 29% of retired people did not have financial concerns. 26% of them were just getting by. That means that 45% of older people who are retired have financial pressures. We also can see that uh, the support that people need in later adulthood would be stuff like acute care, dealing with broken hips, uh, healthcare, social care, community equipment, psychological care, welfare support, which they're entitled to and possibly end of life care. We also see the effects of aging in society. So the UK has an aging population. This has increased life expectancy and reduced the birth rate. One in three babies born today will reach the age of 100. So we have an aging population. And as aging population increases, this also means that dependency ratios will increase. Um, as a result, we've seen some changes like pension ages increased to 68, but this will put more pressure on health care as this trend continues. 40% of the NHS budget currently is spent on care for older people. If we have an aging population, that will increase. Pension costs will go up. That increases taxation on workers. There'll be employment issues as well as some housing problems. So aging does have a wider impact on society. And there we have the second part of aging looking at the psychological, the theories and the economic effects.